وانت طبعا مش محتاجني ان انا اقعد اقول لك قد ايه الانجليزي مهم Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll create a new asset associated with uh, locations. Okay, so let's sign in to Maximo. Okay, let's go to Assets module. Location. I will create a new asset. Test. Okay. This is the site that your asset will be on. Type of asset. Choose whatever your asset. Belongs to, so we will consider it. It's below to a uh, IT. Okay. Okay, that's all. Field mandatory. These fields you should fill in when you create your asset. Okay. All these fields you can fill what you want. Okay, if this has it as a parent, you can choose your parent from here. Okay, or location, we will choose the location that we've created later, before. Okay, test. Okay, test location. That's what we've created. Now, this asset is located on test location. Okay, save. This test of this asset is not ready, so we need to change the st status of the asset to be active or operating. All these status you can choose one of them, so we will select operating. After you select your asset, okay, you can now create uh, your VM and then generate your recorder. Okay, uh, as we will do in the next vi video. Okay. You have a spare part related to this asset, you can set them here. Okay, let's see. Say oil filter has a spare part of this asset. Okay, let's see. Okay, save. If you have uh, any sub assembles related to this asset, you can set them here. Sub, sub assemblies, it will be child of this asset, okay? Say, let's try this a asset. Let's choose this one. Have any safety plan related to the asset you can? Set them here, okay. Or uh, if you have any meters related, okay. You said any meter, maybe we work on it later. So, just choose pressure, okay. Pressure, no problem, okay. You will work on it later. Relationship if it has a relationship. Work if any work order related to this asset or service request opened on this asset, you will see them here. Okay, you can view work detail. If you related to this asset, you will see it here. As we will do later, we will not include the children. So there is no work order, even if history we set it to yes, no work order related to this asset. Okay, we will create one next videos, inshallah. Okay, so, so that's all for our uh, asset. Okay, of course, you can add the image.
okay, from here. Okay. Can also set the budget for this asset during the V. We will set say one hundred thousand for this asset. Okay. That is the budget of the asset during the year. Okay, so every spare part, everything you will invest on this asset, it will appear here. Near to date cost. If you invest anything on the recorder, see. If you have failure class related to this asset, set it here. Any failure class you see. Okay. Also, if the asset is up, important step. Asset is up now. You can reverse the downside. From here, we can revert the downtime, okay? More action, yes, here. Revert the downtime or revert the downtime, okay? You can revert the downtime from start to end, okay? It will register the, how many hours this asset was down, okay? So you can track it. Also, you can move asset from location to another location here. Okay, change location from here. Choose another one. Okay. And I will not do this step now. A lot of things you can do. Here you can get yourself the questions asset or work order directly. Okay. You can view also your details or order contracts related to the asset tickets related to the asset move history if this asset moved from location to another. Okay, all these things related to asset. Next video will continue to create a job plan and create BM and generate work orders. Okay, so see you soon. Thank you.